Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Um, it's weekend and uh, normally uh, in the weekend we cannot trade. Uh, things change uh, since we have the cryptocurrency we can also uh, trade in the weekend. Um, where do I do that? This question I get right away when I tell people this. Um, I personally trade at markets.com. Uh, take a look in, in the link down below if you want to join me at markets. Um, you can trade on the weekend, it's amazing. You can trade Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, uh, Ripple, Dash, uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, and, and all the pairs uh, related to the US dollar or those same pairs related to the Euro. So just take a look on where the opportunity is in the weekend and um, you can still be trading in the weekend if you want. Um, Bitcoin, it's hot um, for a long time now. This is the chart, <coughs> of the weekly chart of Bitcoin. Um, I'm a trader. I do not like this at all. This is against all things you want to see, you want to read, you want to, you know, whatever you want to do with a chart. I technically terrible. Let's be honest. I do not like this at all. But um it's hot and people buy it, buy it, buy it. <coughs> a lot of amateurs are in Bitcoin and they just hit the buy button because they think the sky's the limit and this this thing will go up and up and up and you know risk looking at risk things dropping f in 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 3 weeks from from 5000 to to 3000 and then move back up to s almost 6000 to me that is crazy but it's hot i get a lot of questions and uh, at the end of the day there is money to be made in in every market it doesn't matter if you trade starbucks uh, for not not even a point a day or you trade uh, forex uh, with with huge whips uh, all all sides, or whatever side you 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 want to trade. Bitcoin very volatile. Uh, you can make big swings, um, and it, and and it's just it's just so so popular. Let me switch to the to the daily chart. Um, also, things stories like that guy that got uh, bitcoins on on a flash drive and he lost the flash drive. But if he had the flash drive, he would have been a millionaire. You know, and and the other guy, nobody knows who it is, but the other guy who bought a pizza with a Bitcoin, and that pizza would have cost uh, one hundred thousand dollars today, or whatever. Those kind of <coughs> crazy stories get people involved in Bitcoin because they think it's some kind of new gold rush thing. Again, technically speaking, who cares about those stories if they're true or if they're not true? You know, it's at the end of the day, it's just making money, making, looking for opportunities. So, let's get into the Bitcoin exchange. Like I said, it's it's relatively new. It's 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 a crazy move up. So it's very hard to do technical analysis. But like in every market, price starts to form. You know, price starts to <coughs> get a memory. Uh, for example, over here, previously on the daily chart, this level of 29.84 has been resistance. Right now, we have seen a break of this resistance with a strong move up. Uh, if you're a breakout trader, of course, this is a uh, great opportunity to enter this market uh, if you want to. If you feel like this is, would have been a entry for you to trade as a breakout trader, you're absolutely right. If, on the other hand, you're a swing trader, <coughs> you wait, you, you wait for the breakout, and then again, if you want to enter the market as a swing trader, you wait for a potential retest of this area, and it happened. And after here, zoom in, zoom in when price is at this level at the four hour, maybe the hourly chart. Look for a nice setup, and when you can get confirmation, uh, maybe on the let, let's just let's just try to find that spot over here it is a touch and go situation uh, this is very strong on a daily we also saw that pin bar so it's a very strong uh, reaction to that price level Let's see if we can find it on the hourly chart as well should be a long way back oh, that's over here I think uh, same thing same thing touch and go so it's 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 a bit hard you should have you could have taken this trade with a with a stop under the um, previous resistance that turns into support right now but you should really be on your charts to uh, to trade that 
Maybe I was too far away already. Here it is. Well, touch and go situation. Never mind. This is this is <coughs> classic price action. This is exactly resistance, pullback, resistance, smaller pullback, a retest, and it broke, and we went off. So touch and go situation, and we are back. This was <coughs> previous the last high. Also. Uh, it got rejected so we got the pullback then again we have a breakout so as a breakout trader you could potentially uh, trade at this breakout again so for those uh, of you who are uh, looking for a <coughs> good entry this could be a setup for you just wait for a decent pullback and then go again of course this is the daily chart um, when, we, when we look at the 4 hour chart to get some more price information we get the same um, uh, view strong up move for now a level to watch for me would be this level of course because this is the recent uh, the last pullback um, so you know let's see let's see what happens um <coughs> actually we got a some some kind of a double top because recently price was above this area um interesting let's let's go to the to the hourly chart see what's going on up here um as you can see classical price action uh situation we have a small support area here this one is another one to to, to draw out um here it gets a little bit messy, but this is this is a resistance, uh, a support zone. Sorry, this is an interesting zone because what we see over here is that previously it acted as resistance, is now turning support, and the same situation oh is happening over here with previous resistance now support. So we are in for a, another move, another push higher. Uh, on Bitcoin related to the US dollar like I said the link below markets.com uh, you can trade this in the weekend because as you can see price is it's just uh, it's just active right now Bitcoin is not a, a country it's not, not not regulated in in any way that we have to stop uh, trading it or that it has to stop moving in the weekend so it's a little bit about Bitcoin can you can you trade Bitcoin? Of course you can trade Bitcoin. I will go into, into more cryptocurrencies over the next uh, few uh, weeks, days, uh, whatever. Um, it's, it's new to me as well. Um, I, I see that when the mo momentum is right, you, you, you can have some, some nice follow-throughs to the upside. So that's, uh, that's nice. Um, but again, it's... it's uh, it's an interesting market let's put it that way as you can see right now I want to show you the, the 15 minute chart as well if you are a um, day trader or if you are looking for opportunity and you're a, a little bit new to trading and you're looking at the cryptos as well because a lot of people start looking at cryptos instead of just buying an, a Facebook stock that, that has great potential to, to move up over a long period of time but in that case, you know, the 15 minute chart, same thing, same thing. I it's it's a, like I said it's a bit messy. If you want to trade this, I wouldn't maybe use the 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 line charts, but maybe you can identify some some zones like for example like this. You tell yourself this is this is the zone where price is reacting. Let's get it make it a little smaller. When when pri when z the price comes into this zone, I want to buy and just outside that zone for example like this this should be my stop so for example let's make this one red <coughs> I would put my stop loss outside of that zone same thing here outside of the zone like this a little bit make it red as it is a stop zone and this would be a interesting zone for me to put in some some orders you know the way I trade these things sometimes I open and uh, let's for example say over here I know price has been struggling in this area so I just I just pick some some risk reward I want to get that swing because I know this is 
the upside of, of the price movement I know this is the downside of course I don't want to buy just at the top because I don't know if price will break out already or if price will first turn around and I, will, I have to take a loss or it will turn around and will go even further and potentially wipe up my account or whatever but a bigger loss let's say a bigger loss so to all new crypto people try to look at entries in, in a market like this where you can have, um, this is a great tool in TradingView, uh, a situation where your stop should be just outside the, the, the zone where price turns around. Uh, I, um, so this could be an entry level, this could be a take profit level. So at the end of the day, the potential, the green part of this, the potential um, of a winner is bigger, is much bigger than the potential of a loser. Um, to get this more clear, this is called risk reward ratio. This is a risk reward ratio of 5.2, uh, which means I could uh, let's let's talk in euros, or, or um, I can lose one euro, but I can make five euros. You understand? So the same thing goes. I look for setups like this, but I also do that in stocks, and I do that in commodities, and I do that in forex. But now it's weekend. I trade Bitcoin. I look for entries that uh, will give me a um, a great risk reward ratio so for example I said one euro loss five euros to gain um, same thing goes if you take a 25 euro loss if you have a bigger account but you can make a hundred or a 125 euros in this in, in the trade so if this trade worked out for you, it broke out. Well, okay, you took your money, of course. Uh, when you see this, you, th you thought that ah, could could have been twice as much. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because right now, actually, we are looking at the same situation. Your stop should be here, just outside the area where price seems to be turning around. Um, <coughs> this is also looking looking over here a a area where price seems to oh. put it like this so you have and again a great risk maybe, maybe an even better risk reward uh, so this is 6.6 .6. so this again you lose 10 euros if uh, if you're wrong about this trade but if you are right you can make uh, 60 so if you keep keep looking for those trades you're always in the long run gonna make money and you're gonna protect your your money uh, from 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 the whip sauce uh, the other way around um, yes I think um, I think this is a this is a nice way to trade even in Bitcoin even though you can see it's quite quite messy uh, when you look at, at certain forex pairs or stocks you, you see the price just just you know respects those levels even more so it's less choppy um, but who cares you want to trade Bitcoin let me uh, let me give you my point of view on Bitcoin and there's money to be made in everything once again thank you guys take a look at the link below if you want to be in Bitcoin over the weekend so um, good luck happy trading stay safe risk management is all up to you I just share my ideas I'm not a financial advisor. Please look at the disclaimer. Um, it's up to you if you, how big you can trade, how much you can trade, how often you can trade, what your risk reward should be. It's just, you know, I want to share with you. Don't just hit the buy button. Don't just hit the buy button when price is over here and you think, oh my God, I'm missing a, I'm missing a lot. That's not trading. That's not making money over the long time. Good luck. Happy trading. Bye-bye.